<laughs> oh, you're going to like this one. Okay, remember the other day when AOC breathlessly reported that she was in fear for her life, that she was almost murdered, almost absolutely murdered. She even accused Ted Cruz of attempting to facilitate her murder, calling him a murderer, a co-conspirator, inciting a violent, frothing mob to come and pillage the halls of Congress and to take out any congressman they encountered. Remember that? Well, not only did we find out that the horrific giant mob of murderous raving madmen was actually one Capitol Police officer politely checking on AOC, but that could be forgiven, right? That could be forgiven because she's uh, opposed to the police entirely as, a, as an ideology. She's ideolo ideologically opposed to them, so she must inherently fear police. And so I can buy that she might have been uh, afraid of this person and, uh, you know, this uniformed Capitol Police officer, she may have mistaken them for a horde of of angry uh, right wingers, right? Like that she might have mistaken one guy for a giant group of people with pitchforks, knives and guns trying to murder her. But I can forgive that. But as it turns out, we find out today she wasn't even there. She wasn't even in the building. <laughs> All of this grandstanding, she wasn't even there. She's completely made it up. She's comfortable lying specifically. Now, we knew this, right? It's AOC. You give her, like, it's a, it's a okay, I'm going to spot you about 56,000 lies this week. But this is egregious. I mean, she's lying about being in fear for her life, and this is entirely this is like King Grift behavior. She's trying to weaponize this against her colleagues. She's trying to say that she was in fear for her life. She's trying to bolster her own position with gaslighting about her own death. But uh, here we go. There's the Capitol building. There's, there's AOC's office. Not even close. Not even close. To where the riot was taking place. Not even close. Here's Nancy Mace. Uh, here's Nancy Mace. She says, AOC made clear she didn't know who was at her door. Breathless attempts by media to fan fictitious news flames are dangerous. My office is two doors down. Insurrectionists never stormed our hallway. Egregious doesn't even begin to cover it. Is there nothing the MSM won't politicize? And here's the source for this, by the way. The Red State article, AOC wasn't even in the Capitol building during her near-death experience. I mean, maybe this isn't fair. A Red State might not be considering that in her near-death state, she also had an out-of-body experience and teleported her astral self to the Capitol building where her astral self was in danger of being attacked by uh, angry Trump voters or whatever, and the QAnon shaman. He probably ripped her soul out of her body and drug it over to the Capitol building. I'm guessing that's what happened with his, with his weird uh, QAnon voodoo rituals. That's probably it, though. That's, I'm guessing that's what happened. Listen to this horrific person. I mean, let's not forget that people did actually die during this event. Right. There's a Capitol Police officer who died. Another Capitol Police officer has uh, taken taken their own life subsequent to this. There were some medical emergencies. And let's not forget that a woman uh, was shot and killed as well by the Capitol Police. I mean, there was some tragedy and atrocity mixed into this event. And AOC is trying desperately to grab onto that, to attach the tragedy to herself, to boost her own stature. completely despicable behavior. This woman needs to go. Peace. Peace.